Hi, it's Russell from Voice Recognition Australia. We're looking at the Philips SpeechMic Premium Air SMP4000 and specifically how to update the firmware. This introduces new features and stability and enhancements, so absolutely worthwhile doing. I'll show you how to do that now. You should already have the speech control software from Philips installed. There's a link to that in uh, the product, in the box that comes with the product. However, if you haven't got it, if you type in SMP4000, you'll get the link for the official page, which is this one here. Click on that. This will take you to the product page and the support page, more importantly. So what we've got here is a tab of support right here. Click on that. Now you should have the latest version of the speech control and configuration uh, software for uh, Windows, and there's the firmware there, 4.3. Now to check your current firmware, you can click on little chevron I'm running Windows 10 but the system tray you'll see the speech control app double click on it there's the device I'm running press I and that gives me the version for 4.15 I want to update that to 4.3 so I'm just going to minimize that I'll download the firmware and scroll down and download that'll put it wherever your Chrome or whatever you're using puts it I've got my downloads here now I can go to folder now I've got it here I can open it now I've got the files that I need I'm going to copy that to a desktop directory copy new folder on my desktop call that Philips and paste that in Okay, so there's our update file here, .bin, there's some release notes. Now, I'll go back to the Philips control software. Again, it's this little icon down the bottom, blue and white. Device, firmware upgrade. I'll click import, and I go to the directory I just created called Philips. OK. It's informing me that it's brought it in. There it is, 4.3. I'll now click on the version to be upgraded, 4.3, and then click Upgrade. Yes, Upgrade, do not turn the device off. And now it's upgraded. It's very important not to disturb the device, turn it off or touch it. Um, just make sure that green bar has finished before you do anything. And that's about it. That'll upgrade the device to the latest version, and it'll redetect it. There we go, and we have now got I, I 4.3. If you've got any questions, please contact us or visit the Philips support website. Thank you.